Hello YouTube, my name is Cheyenne and today I'm going to be showing you my top 5 favorite games on the iPod Touch. At number 5 we have um, iGun, which is a really cool app. Uh, basically it has a bunch of guns that you could choose from and fire. Today the first one that I'm going to be showing you is the Revolver, which is a really cool gun because with friends you could play Russian Roulette by selecting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 bullets at one time, spin it and cock it and eventually you will hit the bullet which in this case I hit it the first time. Um, here's the list. You have the M9, some cool pirate gun. Let's see the pirate gun. Um, it's one shot before you have to reload and you just drag the bullet back to where it came from and just like pull the thing back. Um, next up, this cool machine thing. Automatic fire. Then you have the AK-74 or AK-47, whatever it's called. Very cool reloading thing. Just drag the magazine to the place. You have an MP5. Yeah, that's all for I gun. Actually, no, there's a shotgun also. And to reload it, all you have to do is just move the iPod touch as if you were loading a real shotgun. and then drag every single bullet to the whatever it's called manually tilt it back to the landscape view and it will load and you have the last one which is a sniper rifle No, we, I didn't do the M9 yet, so there we go. And at number four, we have uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Fast Lane, Fast Lane, Street Racing. Uh, this game was said to be the game with the best graphics when it came out, which was I think last year. I'm not sure. Um, this is a paid app. Same with the uh, iGun app, which was, which was number five. Um, very cool game. It uses the accelerometer to steer, and uh, when you put your thumb on the left side, it's brake. The right side is accelerate. And yeah, you choose from different cars, different tracks. This game does get boring very easily, but when you first get it, it's awesome. I'll leave the names for all the apps in the sidebar so you can check them out if you want. And at number three we have Mini Gore, which is like a Lego shooter game. And you just go around shooting these like Animal things, I'm not sure what they are, but sorry about the camera quality for this thing, it was like weirded out. And when you sh when you shoot enough, eventually they'll drop like four leaf clovers that you can pick up, and when you get three, you turn into this giant fiery beast thing that all you have to do is just run into the, to the bad guys and you kill them.
just picked up a shotgun. Spread fire is pretty cool. Uh, and there's the last Holy Clover, which uh, turns me into a giant fiery beast. And at number two we have Doodle Jump, which is a really addictive game. Um, all you have to do is there's platforms all over this map and you have to continuously jump on them without falling into open space. Uh, the, the main ones are the green platforms and the brown ones break when you touch them. So if you accidentally jump on one of those you lose, like so. And um, you can shoot by tapping anywhere on the screen like that and uh, there's random springs and stuff like the hat which makes you fly up go faster than you normally should um, the blue ones light blue ones float pretty cool um, some of them like go up and down there's another spring and the game's actually pretty hard this is the shield and you could jump on the bad guys or shoot them and yeah really a different game. At number one we have Jelly Car 2 which is a really popular game when Jelly Car 1 came out everybody was excited about it and now Jelly Car 1 is free but Jelly Car 2 is a paid app but it's really worth the money as it's really addictive. It uses the accelerometer and touch by um, touching the right side of the screen you accelerate the car forward by touching the back you make the car go backwards. Um, it's a platformer. Uh, the objective of this game is to get the car from one area to another area. And there's checkpoints and special things like right now I just picked up sticky wheels which will help me get past the yellow obstacle on the right. As you can see I'm tilting the car right now to move it to the left and to the right and I activated my sticky wheel thing which I'm failing at miserably. Um, now that it's flipped over, I just tilt it to the right, and it's good. Activate sticky wheels, and it just, like, drives on the walls. I failed, uh, once again, if you click the car, actually I didn't tell you this yet, if you click the car, the car enlarges. And that's it for Jelly Car 2. And again, I will leave all the names for the the apps in the sidebars. And if you have any questions, just give me a personal message or a comment in the comment bar. Thank you.